During World War II, the U.S. War Department issued a request for the development and production of a new family of jet-powered bombers. The request was prompted by the emergence of German jet bombers. One of these requested jet bombers was to be a light bomber, with a gross weight of between 80,000 pounds and 200,000 pounds. The end of the war in 1945 resulted in the cancellation of many projects, but when tension rose with the Soviet Union in 1946, a higher priority was assigned to the development of jet-powered bombers. By mid-1946, the North American XB-45 and the Convair XB-46 were nearing completion. The U.S. Army Air Forces evaluated both designs and found that the XB-45 proved superior. In January 1947, a contract for immediate production of B-45As was signed. The first flight of the B-45 prototype took place March 17, 1947. The flight test program proved to be full of technical issues and setbacks, which made the necessity and future of the B-45 increasingly uncertain. Mid-1948, budget restraints limited the number of ordered production aircraft. In 1949, the number of aircraft ordered was limited even more. 96 B-45As were produced, and later 10 improved B-45Cs were delivered. The proposed B-45B was never produced. The final production variant was the RB-45C reconnaissance version, of which 33 were produced. Early versions of the B-45 suffered engine problems, and a number of other minor flaws. However, when the U.S. entered the Korean War in 1950, the B-45 proved its value as a bomber and reconnaissance aircraft. With the reduction of weight and size of nuclear weapons, the U.S. Air Force also soon saw the potential of the B-45 fleet as nuclear deterrent. In the mid-1950s, RB-45Cs also flew several long-range reconnaissance missions over the Soviet Union. However, by the end of the 1950s, all B-45s had been removed from active service. <laughs>